What is the blue? In 1997, researchers were scouring the ocean floor off the coast of South America in search of submerged volcanoes. At that point, they became aware of it, which was a peculiar sound that was loud. They simply referred to it as the bloop because they didn't know where the term originated. Where does the sound known as the bloop come from while one is listening to the ocean? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, of the United States discovered a sound with an extremely low frequency and a high amplitude in the ocean in 1997 and named it the bloop. The bloop was one of the loudest sounds ever captured from the depths of the ocean. Because the noise was so loud, hydrophones, which are essentially underwater microphones, located more than 3,000 miles away, picked up the same sound. In addition to this, at first, researchers had no clue as to what triggered it. Sounds can be heard in the ocean from a variety of sources, including ships, whales, and other sorts of aquatic life. But the fact that the bloop could be heard across the Pacific indicated to the researchers that they weren't dealing with just ordinary background noise. They were aware that it needed to be an original aspect. According to some estimates, up to 95% of the waters across the world have not yet been explored after it was revealed by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA, that the bloop was not the result of human activity, but rather a biological noise, several other hypotheses were put forward. What kind of large beast might have been responsible for making that sound? Was it a previously unknown species of sea creature? A dinosaur that lived in the water and survived extinction? Cthulhu, the legendary monster created by H.P. Lovecraft? There has to be some kind of terrifying beast shulking around in the depths of the water, that much is certain. What could have caused the bloop, if anything? The general people continued to argue where the bloop came from for the next 15 years, while genuine scientists developed their ideas about the phenomenon. Between the years 2005 and 2010, researchers working for NOAA collected acoustic data from the Bransfield Strait and the Drake Passage. Upon conducting this analysis, it became abundantly evident that the sound of ice breaking apart and cracking is a prevalent one in the Southern Ocean. The frequency and time duration of the sounds generated by ice quakes, as they are frequently known, were compared by scientists and found to share many similarities with the bloop. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, concluded in 2012 that the sound that was created was an ice quake. And it turns out that this is sort of what scientists have always suspected it was. The notion that huge marine creatures existed was more rooted in fantasy and imagination than an actual science fact. According to Robert Ziak, a seismologist at NOAA, what has led to a lot of the misconception of the animal origin of the bloop is how the sound is played back. This is one of the main factors that has contributed to this misconception. It is often performed at a rate that is 16 times quicker than normal, which causes it to sound like the vocalizations of some kind of animal. This is because it is performed at a pace that is 16 times faster than normal. However, when the sound is replayed in real time, it has more of a quake sound to it, which is similar to the sound that thunder makes. This is it everyone, so what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.